Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to The Sims 4 Seasons Rags to Riches. Which I have a question by the way. Um, first of all, that is disgusting. Can you clean that? You know what, I guess we have a maid that does cleaning, but also you go clean that. You know what, screw you, clean it. Um, I have a question, like we're at the point where we're clearly not in rags anymore. I mean, I guess except maybe the house is a little disgusting, but... <laughs> <laughs> trash everywhere. Um, oh, my, oh no, I thought our I thought our pile of plates was gone. It's still there, thank God. Uh, yeah, we're clearly not in rags anymore. It's like maybe we should just like end this series. Not not like stop playing it, but basically just end the rags to riches series and just rename it to something else because we're clearly not having issues with that. Because uh, maybe maybe what we do. Hang on. First of all, uh, can you just tend garden? Just do everything. Wait, why aren't you at your... Oh, you're doing homework. Go to your stupid scout meeting. Uh, yeah, so here's the thing. I started building their brand new house over in Windenburg, which if you go to my Twitter, which is at JamesTanerYT, always link down below. Um, if you go to my Twitter, you can actually see the progress on it. Uh, it'll probably be another couple of days just because it is such a huge house, so I'm still working on it. But I started working on that. It's going to be on a 64 by 64 lot over in Windenburg. It's a huge house. Going to have enough room for the new kid uh, and all that. Uh, it's going to be cool. But at that point, it's kind of like, I think we're, we're once we have that, that's kind of the end goal of the series. So maybe we should just then kind of do something similar to what we did way back in the day where we did Lady's Life, which was a series, a spin-off series from the Rags to Riches that was about the main character at the time. So maybe we just do, I, I don't even know. Um, I don't know what it would be called. Uh, I guess Sebastian's life? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, maybe we just do that, because uh, then we can just keep playing The Sims, keep doing stupid things, um, having fun, keep working on... Oh, wait, hang on. We got we, we made Ambrosia, right? <gasps> I was say, keep working on bringing Benadryl back. Uh, where did the Ambrosia go? Did we make Ambrosia? What the hell did I do with it? Oh, you've got it. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank God. I think we have to wait for him to come back, maybe? More on Benadryl. How do you give it to them? Maybe you say back into Sackland. No, I think if we wait for him to come back. Let me make sure that's um. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me remove that. Oh, maybe we should. Maybe we should do a spin-off of Benadryl's life, <laughs> and have nothing to do with his family anymore. No, I'm kidding. But that'd be pretty funny. Anyway, so he'll come back hopefully at night time. Um. So the garden all good now? Yeah, we do actually still look. Here's the thing: we do still need to make money. Uh. So let me um. Because we, we need about $100,000 at least to buy their new house. Uh, I'm going to assume. I, I, I don't know actually how much it's going to cost because it's not furnished yet. But I imagine it's going to be more expensive than this place. Um, it's going to be more sort of finished and it's going to have a huge garden and all that too. Probably a huge pool. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Harvest orchids. Just get all of them, please. Now, all these plants outside are kind of sad because I accidentally killed them all. But, you know, sometimes things happen and you just can't help it. Now, uh, can you cloud gaze and become inspired? Oh, my God. Are you talking to yourself? Oh, wait. What happened to your 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 interest? Um, Luna. Send us... Uh, I mean... You know what? Oh, invite to a club to hang out. Paragons? Wait, no. Invite club to hang out. Oh, that would invite her whole club. That would be awkward. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be real awkward. What we can, what I meant to do um, is actually travel. Wait, what? Sunday, 4 p.m. You know, we could travel. Can I invite? How do I invite her, though? I don't even know how to do that. Invite. Hang out at current law. I mean, I guess I can invite her over. Sure. Hey, you want to come over? Luna Villarreal will be right over. Great. Let's go downstairs and meet her there. What up, Raggy? Oh, actually, you know what? Let me double check that I have um, ton of me full. Okay, good. Except for the selected sim. Good. Uh, good, 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 good. Because <laughs> everyone else can do their own thing. I just want to have a look at um, my sim here. All right, so you're here. Maybe do you want to cloud guys? I'm just waiting for Luna. She said she was coming over. I swear, she said she was coming. Guys, she is coming. She's real. I swear, guys. She's coming over. Okay. Well, what do you understand about that? I just don't. She's coming. I, I met her at school, I swear. Um, yeah, I don't think she's coming over. <laughs> she's not coming. <laughs> I feel like it said, hey, I'll be right over. And then she's like, nah. <laughs> nah. Let's just be needy. And then, wait, where are you? She's here somewhere. Because I can't invite her. She's in the air. Oh, there she is. She is coming. I told you she was real, guys. God. 
talk about my dreams with her. We should probably just cloud gaze, to be honest, because that would be the best way to get a relationship up. Uh, friendly. Uh, ask to see outfit. Do you want to do that again? Ask to see... Uh, no, let's not do that. We already, we already did that. <laughs> ask about her career. Yeah, you know what? Ask about woohoo. Hey, so what's that thing? What's that thing called that people that uh, that two adults do? I can't. What what is it? You want to tell me about it? Um, wait, did you actually ask her or not? I feel like, I feel like she, I feel like he didn't. I feel like he chickened out. Which I mean, fair enough, because that would be a really stupid thing to ask. Okay, can you stop just like canceling my interactions? Because that'd be really great. Hey, do you want to cloud gaze? Nah, she's just like, I just want to get away from you. Unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? Well, don't give it. You can't give it back. Uh, let's return to the store. Sure, give it to someone else. The present was for you. Be grateful. Well, obviously be grateful. But I I know we, we've had this exact conversation on the channel before. Be grateful. It's really nice. But obviously, if it's not for you and you're not going to do anything with it, you could... Why, why don't you give it to... um. Give it to, I'm always manners. That doesn't lower manners. I mean, look, I guess regifting isn't the best thing ever. But also, the person that gave you the gift should be like, hmm, maybe I should learn for that. They don't really like that. Uh, give it to someone else. Yeah. Also, that made no sense. I just read the other one that said, yeah, be grateful. And it's like, uh, raises manners, lowers empathy. I have no idea how that would ever lower empathy. Because that means you'd... You're... You're being empathetic of the person that gave you the present. Because if you were to give it away or get rid of it, that doesn't make any... Why would that lower empathy by <laughs> keeping it? That, that makes no sense. Uh, whatever. Um, anyway, so you're getting your stupid social up now, I think, are you? Yeah. What are you doing? You're eating the thing. Kind of just waiting for um, Benadryl to show up at this point. Man, you're super pregnant. Wow. How are you still wearing those pants? They must be the most elastic pants Ever. Holy crap. <laughs> That's incredible. Hey, Sebastian. How are you doing? Oh, no. I just realized there's no game audio. Hang on. Hey, we got game audio now. Sorry about that. I just realized that. Uh, at, least it was, at least it was only a few minutes. Um, I hate when it's a whole episode. I apologize. All right. Sent with um, bluebells. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. So what is this worth? Uh, it is worth six thousand three hundred dollars. It's actually insane. All right, make another arrangement. Just keep doing them because, like, why not? Just why not take a crazy chance? Why not just do a crazy dance? So she's about to pop, giving birth in any second now. Actually, where the hell is this baby gonna go? I mean, I guess it could just be in their room for now because we will be moving soon, or we could shove it in the attic. There was a few suggestions to shove uh, Lady Big Will at the second in the attic. Um, but I don't think we will do that. I also don't think we, we don't really, there's not really that much room up here. I mean, to be fair, I guess she could go, like, if we turn that into a room, we could shove her up there. <laughs> Just squish her right in there and then have, I mean, the thing is, you could, and if you repurpose that, that could be a bathroom. And then that's just like a landing area. Maybe, uh, that could be storage there. Mm, you know what? I kind of want to do it. But the thing is, now, where do we put that TV? The, the attic was for storage. Maybe we need a basement. I don't know why we're adding all this stuff to this house, especially when we're going to be leaving soon. But, you know what, I think... No, the, the reason we couldn't do a basement is because I didn't know where to put the stairs. I guess we made those stairs smaller. No, let's just keep the attic. Okay, let's go attic. And then, that can be her bedroom now. Let's see if we can move this. So if we put this here... No, it doesn't fit. Because it'd have to go over this side, wouldn't it? Like there. Move the weird pile of presents that we have for some reason. Alright, so this goes over this way. I think it... What is it intersecting with? Like the uh, the light? I think it might be this. Potentially. I hope it's that, otherwise I don't know. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, it was. Alright, so that'll go there. Then that will now just become... Like, that'll be the attic storage. Then I guess this could be the bathroom. Upstairs bathroom, yeah, that'd be quite good. That'll be her bedroom there. Alright, so what we're going to do... Go upstairs. Now, I don't want to... Oh, God. It's really annoying with that roof there, though. Uh, the interior walls would be, like, really crappy, like, wood paneling. Like that. Because, obviously, the attic, we've got, like, this st these stone walls everywhere. Oh, my God, I can't... Let's see. 
I can't get the other side of the walls. <laughs> can I? I can go like I can go into cameraman mode, but I can't paint the walls. So I need to paint those three walls. Uh, that one's done. Oh, I need to do the interior of that wall. Okay. So what we can do now is if we put the walls down, I can sort of see what I need to do. Look, it's not easy, but this is how you do it. All right. There you go. They're all painted now. I think. Yeah. Okay. Now put the walls down. Go downstairs. We're gonna grab the doors. You know what? Let's get even. Let's get even like more just like crappy doors just up here. <laughs> What's like the worst door? I guess like this. I mean, it's not. It's actually not a bad door, but it's just like cheap. I also can't see what I'm doing. Why is it so dark? Why is it so dark everywhere? And I can't put this door on any walls, so I can't see what it looks like. For God's sake! Why is this house so decorated everywhere? There we go. All right, white door. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to see what it looked like and get the right door. All right, so that is the bathroom. And that is a lady big wall at the second's bedroom. And now this is a storage room. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Sorry lady, you're going upstairs now. <laughs> What's her window look like? She got, oh, it's like a bit of stone wallpaper at the end there as well, where that is. <laughs> it's like, well, I mean, oh my god, this is like an actual, like... This is awful. It's such an awful, awful room. But, you know what? She deserves it. In the best possible way. <laughs> Alright, let's get this stuff up. Look, she still gets all her furniture. I'm like, guys, right, stop feeling sorry for her. You don't need to. She's got the, she's living the life up. She she's a whole level to her, herself. Like, what are you what are you worried about? Um oh whoops. Clothes hamper. I have to get a, I'll get a um set of drawers over there or something. Some cushions, I guess, can go over here. Sort of sit near the bed. We're definitely going to need some wall art upstairs, because otherwise it's going to be really lame. Okay, we've got all this random toddler stuff, which I'll keep, because we're about to have another baby. Uh, I'll just put it in the household inventory. <gasps> oh, I thought I'd delete that room. All right, we don't need the blocks. We'll take a little giraffe, though. That's nice. And you know what? See, look, she's getting all this beautiful stuff. There you go. Uh, we'll take a monster light as well, especially up in the attic. Oh, my God. Imagine being a kid sleeping up here. <laughs> and this, look at this, it's, it's just hanging light bulbs. It's terrible. It's wonderful though, isn't it? In every single way. Okay, did we get everything from our room? Oh, the height chart. You know what, we'll take the height chart with it. Yeah, she can figure out how tall she is up here too. Um, Alright, so, wow, okay, you want to put it a little lower on the wall? It's hard to do, because you have to put the walls up. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be that. Then, uh, we need... Oh, we got a fireplace? Why do we have a fireplace? Where did that come from? Oh, it disappeared from over here at some point. That's really sad. Why did that happen? And when did that happen? All the eggs came off it too. There we go. Put them back. <laughs> Not all the eggs. How sad. All right. Uh, okay, back upstairs. Um, well, that was going to be a bathroom, wasn't it? You know what? Let me go to live mode and turn on all the lights because it's really bloody dark. At least up here anyway. Hang on. Turn on uh, this room. Turn on this room. Turn on this room. And turn on this room. Okay. So now we can see what we're working with, which is a little bit better. A little bit more useful. Okay. So, uh, we definitely need another light in that hallway. You guys are saying as well, like, we made it too bright. So maybe what I'll do... Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll make it real atticky. We'll have, like, one light in the middle. We'll get rid of this one. Again, one light in the middle. And then what I'll do is I'll turn... I'll dim them a lot. So we go like this, we go, hang on, let me pause. Set color intensity, this light, it's going to be like a really warm light, but really, really dim. Like that, yeah, that's good. Uh, she does have those lights there though, which is fine, I guess we'll keep those. Because uh, I really want it to be like super, <laughs> you come up here, it's just like really dark and really scary. We need to put like cobwebs up here too. Set color and intensity, this light. So I did that and then we went to about like there. It was darker, but I guess at nighttime it would be a bit darker. And then this light, uh, I wish you could do this floor. So do all of them. Is that tree on? It looks like it's on, but I don't think it is. I think it's just because this light is near it. All right, this light is going to be there. All right, there we go. Much darker up here now compared to the other lights. Good. All right, now I will also do. The bathroom up here. This is going to be a really bad bathroom too. Like I want it to look like it's been here for a while and they've just not updated it. Is there a toilet that's a little less gothic looking? 
I wish I had one that didn't have all this detail at the top. Like, you know, just a more, like, classic one. Well, that's a futuristic one, so I don't want that. Um, I guess it's just gonna, gonna be like this or something. Alright, so we'll get like a toilet like that, maybe. I mean, look, they put a toilet up here for her, so like, what more do you want? Like, God, you're such a little bloody princess. So you're like, ew, I want my own floor with my own stuff. Okay, here, here's your stupid attic, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. What's going on? Let's get this. Perfect. Really crappy sink. Actually, is there a, What's the other one? Maybe that would be better. No, I like that because it just has more like random clutter. Um, and then maybe, maybe like white. So they sort of paint it a little bit. And a little mirror behind it. Maybe the one, uh, this one. Because it looks like you could have like sort of medicine or whatever in there. That's good. Oh, wait, that makes no sense because the stupid tap is so high. Can we get a smaller mirror? Okay, that tap is still huge. Okay, that one works. It's above it. <laughs> is there one that doesn't have a gold handle? Uh, I guess that, but that's about it. You know, we'll do it. Makes the room darker. Makes the room more dingy. I like it. Uh, and we got a toilet roll. Again, I gotta put the walls up and try and squish it in here somewhere. Get that there, and then we'll get out a handrail. Just like this. Nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, brown. A brown towel. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? This this is like the weird laundry level as well. Like, it just has stuff in it. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just gonna be no bathroom. No, you know, don't worry about it. It's just there. For no reason. We're just gonna put stuff somewhere. Um, now, all this other stuff, uh, this is like a... It really should go in here. I'm just gonna sort of pile this stuff together. I don't really care if it overlaps because we don't actually need to use that stuff. Okay, so I need to get a set of drawers, didn't I? Because we don't have any dresser stuff up here now. So we gotta get out. Oh my god, can we get a really creepy one? The thing is, it's too fancy. Look at it. It's way too fancy. We get it like this, really basic. Get it there. And then maybe, you know what? I think she's she's earned a desk as well. Maybe not that one, but I was just getting to the category. Uh, that's too fancy as well. It needs to be like, um. Well, that was the same desk as before, wasn't it? Isn't there like where. I just want the. The really crappy looking handmade wood one, but I guess we're not going to get it anymore because we're too good at making desks. Uh, what about miscellaneous? Maybe there's something in here. <laughs> a picnic table. No, fine, we'll give, we'll give her a desk, we'll give her a desk. Okay, she can have this one. And then... Sure. I, I mean, this room is kind of random, it's just like, it's so weird as well because all the items are just like in a line. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like let's just put, let's just line all the items up, and let's just call that a day. Like we're done. That's it. That's how it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna move this a little bit more. Now that I gotta move objects, I'm gonna move this over this side. The hamper near the drawers, the chest of toys over there. Uh, move this up a little bit. That should be okay. Uh, does she need a? Com you know, I'll, I'll give her a computer. Cause we, look, the thing is, we got money. We really sell all this stuff anyway when we move. So, whatever. Anyway, it gives us stuff to do. Alright, so I'll put that there, and then I'm gonna say, uh, this door... Oh, hang on. Lock door for everyone but... Lady... And then we did... Allow access to... Employees. Allow access to Sebastian. And then allow access to Luna. And then, so basically... You know what, actually, that was a dumb way to do it. Oh, wait, no, that's... I think that's how... Is that how we did it before? I think so, maybe. I don't know. It's confusing. I don't know how I lock these doors. I need. To, I do need to unlock this door, though. Unlock. All right, so that is now a spare room. Which is good. We'll use that soon. Okay. Lady, do you want to go check out your new room? I want you to check it out, please, because I put a lot of work into it. It's beautiful. Go, um, go play Sims or something. I wish... Oh, you know what would be cool? You know how you can do, like, lot traits? How cool would it be if you could just do room traits? So you could say this room had creepy crawl. Because if you go into, um... <laughs> You go into, uh, into here, there's like so many good traits, but I don't want to do the whole, like, I would love to do a room trait, so apply creepy crawlies to that room, and then have like, that'd be actually so good, and have like a, oh, can, then you could apply it like haunted to the attic, and then so only that, the attic has like weird stuff happening, or, you know what, oh my god, I just had the best idea, room traits, oh my god, you know how good that would be, like all the, most of these would apply really well to just room, like, sun, especially sunny aspect, Oh my god, dude, this is a genius idea. And home studio, you'd apply that to the, your art studio and you make it really nice. <gasps> oh my god, that's an amazing idea. That's gotta happen. They gotta do that. It's gonna happen, guys. 
it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to make them do it. And if they can't do it, I'm going to keep keep complaining until they do it. No, I don't know. But it'd be cool if they did. Anyway, where are you? I want, I want you to check out your new, your new attic. Look at this. Don't you like your new room? Wish I could add creepy crawlies to it. I mean, I guess we could add a couple of cobwebs. So we just spent a lot of time in build mode anyway. So let's not worry about it too much. All right, what are you doing? How's your... How's your... Oh my god, you're stinking like crazy. Do you want to try and like... um uh, reveal crawl. Oh my god, let's not do that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, let's not do that. Because I don't think... If we can get her to be a little flirty first. So she's definitely single. Good to know, good to know. You know. Boast about messing around. Ooh. Um, what about... Pick up line, maybe? I mean, look, he's he's actually kind of stinky and a little moody, but he's inspired, so it might be okay. Oh, never mind. Um, there was just a joke. Ha! Ha! I was just playing around. Ha! I wasn't being serious. Ha! Wouldn't it be funny if I was actually like that? Oh my god. Wouldn't it be funny if I was actually into you? Ha! One day. One day, Luna. One day. Ask to leave. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so funny. Um, what are you doing? You're just fixing that? What are you doing as well? You're just standing there. Really should get going. Well, didn't I ask you to leave? Good job, by the way. Um, throw that away. Now, what do you need to do more homework or something? I feel like, yeah, you didn't finish your homework. I think that was the issue. I mean, did you? Yeah, you did. All right, so tomorrow is the... Oh my God, wait, it's Sunday. Hold up. We're about to go... Oh, no, no, no. It's a... Oh. Whew, okay, no, Sunday's the first day of autumn. I thought we were about to change seasons again. I was about to lose all my plants. No, we're good. We're good. Um, all right, so... We've got to wait and see if um, Old Mate appears. Do you want to see if we can go, like, uh, maybe if we interact a little bit? More on Benadryl, maybe a little bit, and then... Leave Sugar Skull Offering. I just want him to come out, you know? Just come out and play. Because I want to say, here. I want to give you Ambrosia. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. You died just so young. What are you doing? Go to the toilet, idiot. It's like, I need to go to the toilet really badly, but she's just not going. The toilet's right there. Go. <laughs> so dumb. Now, hurry up, Benadryl. Oh, hello. You've gone into labor. Um, okay, well, I'll get a bassinet, because I don't want to- I don't want to have to wait. Or does it just- wait. She's gone- uh... What are you doing? Reading the board. Okay, well, you're an idiot. <laughs> let me just go read the board, see what's happening. Um, okay, so let me go for mass in that. Just a normal, oh, sorry. Just a normal one, please. There it is. We'll just put it, oh, you know what? Put it in this room. We made an empty room for a reason. All right, go and have baby. I know we could just wait around for it, but I don't really want to, or go to the hospital. So we'll just have it now. Luna is having a baby! Hooray! Here we go. Oh, it's a boy! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so there's a couple of suggestions. I was just looking in the comments. Uh, for for a boy, uh, first of all, it should be Big Wallet. Uh, the suggestion was to call him Lord. And if we had a girl, it was going to be Orchid. But we'll go Lord Big Wallet. There we go. Well, I mentioned having a baby named Lord Big Wallet. Like, <laughs> that's your child's name. Um, no twins? Oh my god, how funny would that have been? How many sims do I have now? Well, how many? We got seven in the household, okay. Shut up, baby. All right, so, uh, what I would like to do, actually, so, I also just read a comment while I was doing that that I have other orchids. I guess here, is it? These two? These three. Those orchids? What are those? I don't know what those are. So, oh no, I think those are both death fast. So these are orchids, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, thanks for that. Totally forgot. But when we move houses, we're going to reorganize all this anyway. It'll be, it'll be a much better system. I'll try I'll design the house around it anyway. Um, all right. So baby is alive. Baby born, baby born. Bounce. And then I'll feed. I don't know why I'd need to feed you now. But anyway, your silly face. I'll cuddle. Find out what's wrong. I just, you know, just do all the things. It's still crying. I don't know what its issue is. Now it's eating. I don't know how it possibly could have been so hungry after just being born. But, um, <laughs> whatever. Hey, Scooby. I forgot you. I forgot we had you. <laughs> I forgot you were a thing in our lives. Hey, mate. Um, well, Sebastian's just gone to bed, apparently. Uh, you know what? Pet care. Go and walk. Let's go for a jog. It'll be nice. Scooby dooby doo. Where are you? We're gonna go jog outside now. It's actually kind of cold. I don't know why I'm wearing this. 
We're gonna freeze to death now. Scooby dooby doo. Why are you so slow? How come dogs never run in front of them? Yeah, they always trail. I'll tell you what, my dogs never trailed behind. Unless they're sniffing something and you're trying to like pull them away. But they definitely always ran out in front. Although I guess, um, really you want them walking by your side, because if they're pulling in front, they're, they're kind of, you gotta, you gotta, um, get that in line. You don't want them showing dominance over you, that's not, that's not good. Oh my god, baby's crying. What do you want? Uh, change dirty diaper, get up. Go take care of your child, make a silly face. Go meet your child, I guess, it's probably a good thing. I know it's wrong, there you go. Hey kid! Blop, 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 blop. Alright, there you go, baby's all good. And then you can go back to sleep. And then you're, oh, you're back home. Actually, you know what? Um, no, don't go back to sleep. You can go here. And then we're gonna go woohoo with Sebastian. Because, you know, she's ready to go. She just had the baby today, but oh my god. That would be the worst. That would actually be the worst thing ever. So, I know, especially because it was not a uh, cesarean birth. Although, to be honest, I don't know how she gave birth here. Um, she did somehow. She was like, Straight out. Um, okay, so everyone's asleep except for the baby. Well, I guess except for these two as well. You know what? We got marital relations to to rekindle. You know what? I think they they probably have the best relationship out of any of my Sims ever. Right. I actually do want you to get up. Yeah, good. I need you to go take a shower because you're already stinking anyway. You can just go back to sleep because it's like five a.m. and just sleep sleep a little bit long. Oh, what happened to Benadryl? How come he didn't come out to play? Wait, did he? Who's that? I saw a, a thought bubble. No, maybe he didn't. Damn it, Benadryl. I bet he's never going to come out again now, is he? He's probably just never going to appear. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Anyway, so you're... <laughs> you're having a shower. Uh, you're sleeping. Good. Alright, so it's Monday. This week we have... Not much on. We have uh, Love Day on Friday, which is actually going to be their third anniversary together. Oh, is that beautiful? Um, so, we're going to leave this part here. So, I, I, I'm going to continue working on their new house, which, again, I, like I said, you can see a preview of it over on my Twitter. I posted it uh, the other day. So, you can see it there. I'm going to continue working on it. Then we'll eventually move there. And then let me know what you think about uh, ending off the Ranks of Riches and just continuing under a different series name. Maybe with a different goal. Maybe that's when we'll change. Because I did say originally I wanted Sebastian to do the new gardening career as well. So, maybe then we'll stop making our own business like so maybe when we change over we'll finish up the store but we'll stop running our business we'll go more into doing the career and that kind of stuff i don't know let me know in the comments down below but until then guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time and have an awesome day